you own a Mercedes with a steering wheel like this, and you're getting an error that looks like this, then it could be this error code, C220500. So I'm gonna go through the options and I'm gonna tell you what we're doing about it. Option one, take out the whole of the steering column module. You can replace it, they cost 491 pounds 50. Option two is take it to Mercedes. It's gonna cost you a fortune, it's inconvenient for me because it's a veto. Option three, remove the steering column module ourselves. We're gonna send it away for repair. Disconnect the battery, you'll probably need a 10 mil. Pop this airbag cover off. Yes, the airbag now comes away. Remove these electronic plugs. Uh, there we go. Get your wrench on there. It's a 10 mil. Okay, this should just come off now. Ta -da. This should just come away. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. The steering control module has been returned. However, they couldn't fix it because of the clock spring. We have a new one. It's exactly the same part number from a CLA. So let's get it fitted. We're gonna plug this in first. That seems to have slid on quite easily. Screw the bolt in and get it torqued up. Okay, I have an airbag front right malfunction. We've got another one used. You also need a code reader to recalibrate your steering. We got a top done one. When you fit it, you need to make sure that the position of it is correct. There's a little red dot. Push that dot. This dial rotates. It's almost one and a half turns to the right and one and a half turns to the left. If it's out of sync and you put it on, you're going to screw up all of those rubber bands. That's not going to be good. And then refit everything the way you remove code reader so you can go in and reset that steering control. And then you'll need to clear all the codes on the thing. And so far, fingers crossed today anyway, I've been driving around. I think I've fixed it. 